Legislative IQ. Increase your legislative intelligence with Florida's policy, budget, and campaign monitoring service. Subscribe today at legislativeiq.com. Vote is 12-0. Motion carries. Dr. Larry Robinson was unanimously voted in as the 12th president of Florida A&M University by the school's board of trustees. I want to just sort of start reaching out to our constituents and, and letting them know how, much, how important they are to us. That includes students, faculty, staff, alumni. And so uh, I'll be meeting with my leadership team, you know, talking about what we will do. It's the latest achievement in Robinson's 20-year career at the historically black college, but this isn't the first time the nuclear chemist has led the school. Robinson served as interim president before the school hired its first female president. He took the position again after she was fired. He also held the same title for a short period in 2007. <laughs> the university asked for and got permission to forego a national search for a new president. Trustees Chairman Kelvin Lawson says it was the right decision. So in our mind, there was just not a need to go out and expend the resources and time to search for an individual that was right under our nose. When we asked students what they wanted to see Robinson improve, most didn't know who he was. I don't know any of it. No. Did you even know he was president? No. The one student who did know Robinson wants to see the school do a better job of helping students navigate the financial aid process. I feel as if most students don't know where to look for for help as well as uh, for monetary guidance. Robinson has work to do. The six-year graduation rate is only 39 percent, and until this year, student enrollment has been faltering. In Tallahassee, I'm Jake Stofan.